Welcome to video seven of the Beginner Guitar Quick Start Series. In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to use your picking hand to strum properly on the guitar. This is gonna make sure that your practice and playing time is efficient, it's gonna reduce the risk of injury, and it's gonna help your progress be a lot faster in future lessons. Now I'm gonna be using a pick for the strumming in this lesson, but you don't have to use one. If you don't have one or if you don't want to, that's totally fine, it's up to you. You can just use your thumb and your index finger to kind of strum the strings. Now I would recommend at least trying to use a pick and the, some of the stuff that I'm gonna cover in this lesson is a bit subjective as far as how to grip the pick and the angle that you're gonna be strumming it. So that's really up to you. So the best way to start trying to hold a pick is to just stick the pick out in front of you like this if you're right-handed, point it that way, put your thumb on it as naturally as you can and then just come down on that pick with your index finger. Now as far as the grip on the pick, like I said, try to do what's natural. Your finger may be curved around like that it may be more parallel to the pick, or maybe even the, the uh, complete other way, and you may even want to try using two fingers to hold the pick, that gives you some control. Experiment and just see what feels comfortable and natural for you. All right, the second little subjective thing that I want to go over is the angle that you're going to be picking at. Most people have the pick angled downward like this, kind of towards the floor when they strum. Some people have the pick angled more parallel to the strings, and some people, like I said, if you use uh, the two finger method for holding the pick, the angle is more upward like this. It really doesn't matter. The important thing is that you experiment with the angle that you like best and find out what works for you. The next tip that I wanna give you when you're strumming is to relax. If you tense up, you're gonna be really inefficient and you're gonna open the door for some injury. So if you feel any tension creeping into your strumming at any time, just stop, relax, and then start over again. One thing that I see a lot of newer players do, I see them lock their wrist and just strum from their elbow. And what that does, that can create a lot of tension. That can be a source for a lot of tension. So don't do that. One of the best analogies that I've ever heard for strumming, and I use it all the time, is to pretend like you have some honey on your finger and then you feather is stuck to it and you're just trying to flick it off. If you look at that, most of the motion is coming from my wrist. My elbow is moving too, but my wrist isn't locked and just using my elbow, right? So keep that in mind, keep that little analogy in mind as we go through this. And we're gonna start with just some downstrokes for strumming. And if you don't know any chords yet, that's totally fine. You can just mute the strings or you can make a chord if you know one. And just take the pick in your hand and your preferred grip that you've been kind of messing with and then the preferred angle that feels most comfortable for you. And remember that analogy, don't lock your wrist and just use your elbow. Just go strum through all six strings using downstrokes. Keep doing that over and over again until you get comfortable with it. If you need to stop the video, that's totally fine. Once you get comfortable with your downstrokes, you need to get comfortable with some upstrokes too. So do the exact same thing. Make sure you're not locking your wrist and just using your elbow. Just strum through the string using upstroke. And a lot of people, a lot of newer guitar players think if they're playing a full chord, like a chord that uses all six strings, that they have to upstroke through all six strings, and that's not the case. Let me show you this real quick. I'm gonna play G chord, it's a six string chord. And if I do upstrokes, I generally only hit the top three to five strings with my upstrokes. With my downstrokes, I generally hit all six. But with my upstrokes, I'm only hitting about the top four strings there. So once you're comfortable with your downstrokes and your upstrokes individually, you're gonna to wanna to try to put them together. Just do that over and over again. And like I said, if you don't know a chord yet, that's fine, just mute the strings. A lot of newer guitar players have trouble holding onto the pick when they strum. It ends up flying out of their hands. You, as a new guitar player, are gonna have to experiment with how tightly you hold onto the pick. You wanna hold onto it tightly enough to where it doesn't go flying out of your hands, but you, you don't wanna hold onto it so tightly that you tense up. One thing you're gonna have to do is kinda of develop a technique to where you're a, kinda of constantly adjusting the pick, because if you're strumming a lot, that pick's gonna move around a little, and you're gonna to need to adjust your grip. So if I'm strumming a G chord, I'm always making little micro adjustments just to make sure I'm holding on to the pick to where it doesn't fly out of my hands. 
Keep all the tips that you've learned in this lesson in mind as we move forward in the beginner guitar quick start series. And for right now, just practice your downstroke strumming, your upstroke strumming, and putting them together. Don't even worry about your fretting hand right now. Just work on your strumming hand. In the next lesson, we're gonna go over your first two chords, and I'm also gonna give you some tips on how to keep your chords clean and buzz free. If you have any questions about strumming, you can leave them here in the comments or email me, nate at guitarsystem.com. Later.